we're talking, I'm going to be uh, showing you some base style that you use, some tactics. Uh, this is something I'm supposed to be like, you know, getting kids away from the high college and while they get them into fishing, uh, artificial lures, spinner baits, plastic, stuff like that. So I'm just going to show you some of that. Um, first off, anyone want a few uh, nail packs and baits? Going out for you guys. Uh, and, uh, They don't go very far. I'll get some more out later. Um, but uh, I'm 13 years old. I fish some tournaments. Uh, I live in uh, North New Jersey. So I'm just going to show you some basic tips and tactics. First thing I want to show you uh, is spinnerbait. Uh, this is surge bait. First thing you want to do when you go to body water is fish with a surge bait, any kind of fast moving bait, like a spinnerbait or a crankbait or something like that, something fast. Uh, this particular one, the Strike King, is just a white spinner bait. Uh, fishing it on a 7 foot medium heavy rod, uh, 12 pound on the line, um, and a uh, 6 by 1 ear ratio reel. Um, it's a faster reel, you want a faster reel for the you know, faster bait. Um, so, you probably have to throw your bait out there. You want to play around with it, let the fish tell you what they want. First thing I'll do is, uh, you know, fish it in the top of the water column, kind of burn it in. Maybe if I'm fishing near grass, fish it over the grass. Like so. Try to get a reaction strike from the fish. I'll do that for a little while. If I'm not getting any bites, I'll try something different with it, you know. Maybe I'll go a little bit lower with it. The water column. You also do some pops with it, do whatever you want. Um, you just want to let the fish tell you how they want it that day. The fish's mood can change day to day, even hour to hour, from weather changes or tide changes or something like that. So you just tell, uh, let the fish tell you what they want. See, I'm getting a few, looks like I might get a few bites. So it's been in the middle of the water column. Say I'm not getting any bites like that. Maybe I want to put it on the bottom. This is in our base, base like this, fast food base. You just want to use them to find the fish, see where they're at. They're just they're called a search bait for a reason. Now you can do, you can slow roll this bait on the bottom. Basically all you do is let it sink all the way down. And just really slowly get those blades moving, real slow on the bottom. You want to try to get the cover with it, just like that. Like I said, you want a faster moving reel, 6 5 to 1 gear ratio, um, 7 foot rod. This rod's got a little bit of backbone, this is a uh, halo rod. Um, halo fishing. I actually just bought this rod to show at the Halo booth yesterday. Really, really light, nice rod. Seven foot medium heavy. You got a nice big selection too. That's a spinner bait. That's a surge bait. Next bait I might like to use. If I'm not getting too many bites on the spinnerbait, that's the other thing. If you're getting a lot of bites on something, there's no reason to change. You just want to keep going with that bait. Not getting any bites on that, I'll just go uh, with a jig. Uh, it can be a swim jig. The swim jig is uh, the fast moving bait, but it's slower than the spinnerbait or crankbait. Um, there's a picture right there. Uh, same thing here, you want to let the fish tell you what they want. This particular jig, this is a New Tech Lures jig. Uh, this actually has two guide arms instead of a loose guard like many other jigs. And it's got an iconic head design to make it always stand up on its head. So when you, when you drop it into the water, it'll always stand up. When a fish picks it up off the ground, it actually will also stand up in the mouth. So when you go to set the hook, it'll go straight up like that. You'll hook the fish in the top of the mouth every single time. So it's a really good design. It's a company based out of Missouri. Everything's made here in the USA. With this jig, all you, can, you can do a lot of things with it. You can fish it around cover. With the, uh, with the head design the way it is, with the, uh, 
the uh, guide arms. It'll never get hung up on any wood. You can do short hops like that. Or another thing I like to do with it, let it fall on the bottom. You just do long, long pickups like that. Looks real nice in the water with a nice trailer on it. Or try to bump the cover with a dead. Or if you have some grass in the area, it's also got a great head to do some swim jigging with it. So you just, you can do it right through the grass at a moderate speed. Just like that. There's no grass here, but just at a moderate speed, do the grass. You can pick up a little bit of grass with it, but not a lot. Um, most things you're going to pick up with a fish. Alex. Or you can also uh, get a little bit faster like that on top of the grass. Get a nice reaction strike with the fish. A lot of things you can do with jig. If I'm going to use a flipping jig trailer, I'll go with a uh, power tuners, crawl dirt, or Power Tubers 3.5 inch Texas Rig Jig. But uh, yeah, that's the jig. A lot of people uh, are kind of scared to fish a jig because they try to put the time in to fish it and they never get bites and they think that it never works. Well, one thing I like to tell people is that uh, if you just go in the water and you only take one rod and you take one jig, and you don't take anything else, then you, you force yourself to fish that jig a lot and you'll do really well with it. You'll see your results are going to go crazy. There's wood and grass around. I'll just flip this baby. I'll just flip this to uh, various covers. And you can just, like there's a bite right there. Looks like I got this guy. Um, yeah, just flip this to various covers. You, you can pick out the cover, like uh, if you're in a big weed bed and there's real heavy weeds all around you, you can find the small pockets within the weed bed that the fish will um, these fish will love this thing. You just pick out the small weed beds inside the uh, small weed pockets inside the weed beds, and you can. Uh, and just put this bait to those little uh, pockets. This fish will be it out. But uh, yeah, like I said, one fourth ounce uh, tungsten bullet weight and a uh, and a three out uh, gamagatsu uh, water hook, and you're good to go. I got this on a uh, six foot ten uh, safe for a range rod. And a uh, Shimano Canon 651 gear ratio. Uh, this is a medium rod, it's a lighter rod. So I like that light action for this kind of fishing. Not going to do too much with this because I'm going to catch some fish with it. But... <coughs> Last thing I got here is just a whack rig worm. It's not actually the Senko. Uh, this one's made by Power Team Lures. It's called a Six Stick. It's, uh, it's got these ribs throughout the entire bait to give it more action and displace more water. And I've got it on a uh, 160 pounds uh, weighted wacky head. Um, but you can do a lot with that bait actually. You can Texas rig it with a weight. You can weight this Texas rig. Uh, drop shot if you want to. Drop shot is just a suspended uh, hook uh, over a weight. Um, you can put it on a shaky head. But the main thing is with the, uh, with the uh, wacky head, just like I got it on now. You can see the roughness too. Like a, I'm, at, I'm not actually hooking these fish, I think. I bent this hook, there we go. I bent this hook back real well. So these fish are actually just holding on to this. Because these uh, power team lures have got, those, uh, got that hot tonic in it. It's the uh, power team lures um, attractive. And the uh, fish really hold on, as you can see. This bait you just throw out there and just work it like that. Just short hop. You 
easier to just hold them on to it. Um, I got this on spin gear. I like light spin gear for this uh, technique. Um, six pin rod, medium rod. And they, uh, I got I like 15 pound braid with it. And uh, I got a small spin wheel here. But you just pick out the cover with this. It's a really good bait if you're, um, like I said, if you're just getting into fishing or or even if you're, even if you're a great fisherman and already, and uh, it's just a tough thing out there, this bait will always catch fish. Just want to work that. Always catches fish, as you can see. So that's all I got today, guys. You guys want some more baits? Here you go. These are uh, the uh, Power Team Lures uh, sample packs. Um, you get a six-inch one in here, three half inch three chain two, and a five-inch bidding stick over here. You go. I only got one left. There you go. Thanks, guys. Good job, It's a long road From Hammerstead to Toho Doesn't matter which way you go The miles are all the same But when you finally get there And when you pull the cover off Then it's time to get a little bit lost Out on the lake Gonna back this boat into the water Find a way to win a couple dollars Where the man says there's a cobra coming down Bring it on, I've seen it all